So, Robbie, how'd you get your start with Adidas? What were you doing before that? Wow. Uh, let's see. I've been in shoes forever. My fifth grade report card said a little less athletic shoe drawing might prove beneficial. <laughs> uh, I interned at a couple of footwear brands um, before I got uh, out of school. And then, yeah, February 01, I got my start with Adidas. I was in Portland. I was working on training, uh, cross-training shoes. Moved to Germany, did three years there, worked on running and, uh, and walking came back to the U.S. in 05, and since then I've been involved with running, with basketball, with advanced concepts, and making things that are specifically for certain accounts. So besides the drawing aspect and creating shoes, what other part do you like about it? Performance, like testing things out, the scientific stuff, like what would it yes. be? <laughs> yeah, I mean all the above. I mean it, the athlete interaction is ridiculous, right? Literally Dame over at my house the other day is so <laughs> cool. Uh, and then, yeah, getting to work with people, the, the expertise, like uh, this one uh, uh, lady, Alicia Davis, she's um, our researcher in innovation. She is amazing. Every time I sit down with her, I learn 10 new things that I never knew before. And it helps to, you know, help me step up my game and figure out how maybe mistakes I would have made, but I, now I wouldn't make those anymore because I, I was able to um, um, work off of things that she already knew. So, I mean, I can't lie, it's like the best job ever. Uh, you know, I don't really feel like I have to work so hard. It's more just, um, you know, it's a lot of hours, but it's it's my passion, so it's, it's wonderful. So what do you think it's going to be about the D-Rose brand with him coming back and everything? Sales were still pretty good, right? Oh, yeah. During the time that he was off the court, yeah. but with him being on the court, and I know you guys did a big marketing yeah. uh, program with him, yeah. yeah. So what do you think is going to be the, the differentiating factor this, this time around? Yeah, just like you said, like, I mean, he, he didn't play last year, but he was still top five in jersey sales. I mean, uh, I think that speaks volumes for how unique his game is and how good he is. I mean, I, watching the show today and the replays, I'm so excited to, I get chill bumps. I'm so excited to see him back on the court. Um, so, I mean, it's only up from there. If he didn't, you know, uh, in terms of he's going to be on the court, he's going to be validating the shoe from a performance side with the moves he's going to do and also from a style side um, so I think kids are going to for sure gravitate to it. So any future plans to do a package like maybe a jersey, some socks, some uh, D-Rose shoes I mean, all I like together? I to think that every kid that goes to the store builds packages that they like. Uh, and, uh, we, you know, we talk about it and we call it like the put together. You know, it's like how do you put this with this other piece? Um, it's a great idea. Yeah, and, uh, I'll bring it up with the marketing guys. So what do, what do your athletes from Adidas ask you guys for mostly? Like top three, like what do they need in their shoe? Uh, ankle support, um, comfort for sure, because, you know, it's not one game. It's, it's three hours a day, you know, like it's a true job for these guys. And if one little thing's wrong and you, you know, rub that same spot for three hours, you know, it's, it's going to lead to problems. So I'd say they, they challenge us for, you know, light, comfort, making sure we have great support around the ankle, um, and they always ask us to bring the next thing and, and show that we're listening. I think Dame said it well, like, um, you know, show me examples with every conversation how what I said last time affected what you're showing me this time. You work with athletic shoes, performance, um, how do you think it's going to be bringing in the Kanye, the Pharrell, the Nego? You know, you have the APC influence with Kanye, you have Billionaire Boys Club with Pharrell, yeah. and you have Bape, obviously. So, do you think it's going to translate from a, you know, yeah. performance to yeah. a lifestyle, high-end yeah, type I think, thing? I think every product, a lot of times, is the result of the influences. Uh, you know, so like, why does this shoe look totally different than the one, two, and three? It's because of the boost influence and having to redesign it um, to go along with the, with the boost. So in the same way, um, those are new influences that are going to influence the brand. It's going to happen. It will make its way, I think, throughout. Those are, those are massive, creative geniuses that, that have a lot of influence on culture. And they're, um, from the things I've seen, they're bringing really exciting things to the brand. And those ripple effects, I'm sure, will be felt throughout all the products we make. So you're saying if Kanye were to present you with a shoe or an idea, you wouldn't tell him, like, nah, I don't like that one? Uh, I, no, I, I think uh, what we want to be more than ever is, uh, like, teammates working together, you know. Uh, and so I'm sure anything, anything, any designer, really, and somebody who tries to be, cre you know, wants to be creative and, and, and gets out of that box, something about it is right. You know, something about it is usable. So I think 
you know, um, if he was here today and he, you know, did a sketch, I'm sure there's something that would tweak some, you know, would start some conversation that would lead to something really great.